first man now him to walk in, stop, and he will now decontaminate him with a brush and with water. He might also add some soap to it just to clean off all contamination. It helps him to spin. And if you look to the floor, you can see that there are two colors, black and white. And this is for the identification which area might be contaminated and which not. So the black colored area is possibly contaminated, while the white area is always clean. So after the black area, only decontaminated persons have to go. So he washes his hands because he touched with his hands the fluid and they might be contaminated most. And of course his feet. And soon he will touch his feet and so he will lift his feet to be washed. Now it needs the second feet. And as the water we use it for decontamination might also become contaminated because of the fluid the bearer of the chemical protection suit wears on the suit the water is contained with a small barrier and can, can be pumped out afterwards now he steps into this bag and will be pulled out of the chemical protection suit the one on the, the person on the black side also only touches the chemical protection suit from the outer side, while the person on the white side may also touch him from inside the chemical protection suit. So the person inside the chemical protection suit crosses his arms so that he can pull out more easily. And the way the chemical protection suit is pulled out, the barrier of it doesn't come in contact with the outer side. So he can't be contaminated by the outer side of the chemical protection suit. Thank you.